What's up guys, it's Damp. So, I had promised you all I'd make you a video regarding top, or float fishing rather, um, because it's something I see a lot of new players struggle with, and it can be very frustrating, especially when it comes to setting the hook. So, what I wanted to do is kind of make a video of some of the best practices that I have, and, and some of the reasons that if you're a newer player to the game, that you might struggle with float fishing. So, we'll, we'll uh, I guess we'll start just by looking at the setup. So, I'm just using... You know, the basic setup that you get when you start the game. I mean, the bobber's changed out because I don't have the other one. Um, a starter hook that you would get. This one's a small, it's a 16. Uh, the line's 8.5 pound test. So really, what you're getting here is pretty much the starter gear. I haven't changed much out except for what's essentially I don't have anymore. So I went with that rod to just kind of demonstrate what we have going on. So a couple things I want to talk about. The hook is extremely important. So... Um, the higher quality hook you can get, in my opinion, I think it makes it easier to get a hook set. So as you're looking and you're shopping, the more stars that you see in the shop, the better the hook quality is, and that's something you really want to consider. So I'm not going to take you to the shop and go all the way there and look at that stuff. You guys can do that on your own. But um, what's also important is based off the type of fish you're targeting, the size of the bobber that you want to use. I personally prefer something a little lighter than this one, like maybe two to three grams. Um, because that's typically the fish you're going to target when you're float fishing. You're, you're targeting um, smaller fish that don't have a ton of power to be able to bring that bobber under. You don't want to be using anything really much bigger than a 3 if you can help it. Um, depending on the shape is, is, is another factor. But for now, you can go with this one. I'll just kind of demonstrate the hook set that I use. And you guys can play with it. Um, now, this will change based off of the length of your rod. Like if you can see here... Um, as we look at this length is only four meters, so it, it makes it difficult a little bit of time, a little bit of the time I would say to get a consistent hook set because the rod isn't very long. So as you move into other telescopic rods, um, like this one here, uh, you've got the length is 4.8 meters, and then the walrus stick, which um, is also four meters, is a higher level one. But I mean, as you're going in the shop, you can look and see what the length of the rod is before you buy it. I think the longer the rod, the easier it is to get a hook set. Um, that's just my personal opinion. So kind of what we'll do now is I'm going to talk a little bit about where you typically want to fish. And usually you want to fish near vegetation like these reeds here. Um, that rock actually is a structure that wouldn't be too bad into some moss. Um, those sticks that you see straight over there, which have now disappeared. <laughs> um, anyway, that stick that used to exist right there that's laying in the water, uh, the cattails right over here, you want to typically fish near vegetation. Um, and, and the other thing is, is don't cast out too far. There's a couple reasons for that. It makes it really difficult for you to get a, uh, to get a consistent hook set if you don't have a little bit of slack in your line. So what you're going to see that I do a little bit differently from a lot of other streamers that I see play this game is... I am lining up my my bar right here, the tension bar, right underneath the bobber. Now this is ultimately going to depend, you need, need to play with this, it's going to depend on your specific type of rod, um, the line you have. So there's going to be some um, variations in what you're doing. And um, you can see there, even though I had a hook set, I didn't get it in because I'm using the low quality hook. Because um, that was a pretty good, honestly it was a pretty good hook set. So that will happen from time to time. But what I did want you guys to note there is you could see how the bobber was laying flat on the surface. Whenever it's laying flat is usually a good time that you're able to set the hook. Now there's going to be times where fish just get away like that, even though you had a pretty good hook set. And there's going to be times where they get away even as you're pulling them out of the water. I have had that happen. Um, essentially, the better the hook, the less likely that is to occur. But going back to the placement, I tend to place the, the tension bar right underneath the bobber. And I want to look up in the sky as I'm setting the hook, almost like you're setting the hook on, you know, a massive, huge fish, like a whale or something. You know, really over-exaggerate your hook set. The idea behind it is that it absorbs some of that slack in the line as the fish begins to pull the bobber under. And I'll tell you, it's not 100% of the time that I can get fish but it's a lot better than just using the left mouse button. I find with the left mouse button, I get really frustrated. Um, 
with some of the hook sets because they aren't they don't seem to even be consistent i mean the fish takes it all the way under the water even with a good hook it goes missing you know it doesn't really work really well um so what i'm looking for ideally is that fish pulls the bobber all the way under and the red tip at the very top goes under and then i'm able to hook set now what will happen sometimes is they'll drag them around or they'll screw around with them because the fish is too small um which makes it a little more difficult to get your hook set um but a another good way while this fish is screwing with the bobber here um if you are fishing with the we'll say we set this rod down i probably won't be able to move it now that he's already on the line yeah so I'll show you after I hopefully I'm able to hook this fish, but anytime you have your bot, let's say you're fishing three or four, three rods rather, if you're fishing three rods and you have the rods down on the ground, a lot of people see those bobbers go under, they'll pick it up and just set the hook. Most of the time that's not going to work. The only time you'll really immediately be able to set the hook is when you see a, a decent amount of tension um, about the width of that bobber um, in the yellow that's already on the line or if the fish is completely you know swimming away with a bobber sometimes you're able to do it but most of the time when you pick there's the exaggerated hook set I was talking about guys um, most of the time when you pick that that rod up you're gonna screw around with the, the slack which makes it kinda inconsistent um, so hopefully you were able to see right there with the way that the way that I set the hook where I look up as I'm setting the hook which tends in my opinion it tends to help a lot but as I was talking about before, when you set this down, the slack, as you pick it back up, see how that, that slack just completely goes haywire? So if you're going to set a rod down, you really want it to be as close to the water. You want it to be on a flat surface and not on an elevated one because that can throw your angle off. Um, truthfully, it, it's a lot easier for me to fish two bottom feeders and one float rod or two feeder rods and one float rod than it is to try and fish three float rods. People do it, but I think it can be very frustrating um, because of the consistency. Now, sometimes as you float fish, you'll actually have a fish that will, uh, I mean, they'll, they'll set themselves. There are possibilities that they'll set themselves on a hook. I mean, that, that does happen for sure. Um, but if you're float fishing and you're looking for, just a more consistent hook set this is something i'd recommend so i'm gonna try and do one more real quick just so you guys can see kind of how i do it and uh then if you have any tips throw them in the comments below there we go all right so there's another one so hopefully you're able to kind of see how i look up and I, I basically just tilt the mouse back and hold both mouse buttons as i'm setting the hook so um that's it for this one guys again remember get some better hooks actually we'll hop over and I'll give you an example of mosquito real quick um, get some better hooks that's really important um, don't use too heavy of a line for your rod which I'll show you in the shop too uh, anytime you have uh, a fish really that's pulling line you're pretty safe to set the hook when you have that bobber go under like I showed you um, when the bobber is flat on the surface and any time that you really have tension when you're picking up your rod holder are all good times you should be able to consistently set a hook. Um, for us, we'll go into the shop and I'll just briefly kind of show you what you want to use as far as the lines, um, etc. So we'll say we were going to buy this this rod right here. So our Telestick TL13. So what I'm looking for on the parameters is I'm looking where it says load capacity, where it says four and a half kilograms. And we want our line to be less than 4.5 kilograms because if it's stronger than 4.5 kilograms and we happen to get a big fish the rod is going to break before the line will break so it's important that we look for line we couldn't use this line we don't want to use this we want to stick with eight and a half so we want to use the eight and a half pound 3.9 line um, for that rod and then as we look at hooks what's important with a hook is that these stars are the quality in my opinion that makes it easier to get a hook set and it also makes it easier to keep a fish on longer as you're fighting them not as important with float fishing as it is with bottom fishing um, so some of the more popular hooks 
Uh, these for $13 for three stars are pretty popular. Probably an easy, quick upgrade is moving to a two star hook here um, for three bucks as you're a beginner. The express fishing is only a one and a half. Um, but the happy hooks for eight bucks are another popular one because you can get three stars. So that's just a little bit of advice. I hope it helps you. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have another video about uh, Russian fishing, just tips in general for higher levels that's coming out uh, hopefully, hopefully later today. Um, if not, you guys will see it probably Monday or Tuesday. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for all your support lately, especially on Twitch. You guys have been awesome. See ya.